welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my first video of my decorating for Christmas series on my channel. And I was looking back at my channel and it's so crazy. I have done decorating for Christmas videos every year since I think 2016, which was mine and my husband's first apartment when we were newlyweds. We had no kids yet, which I'll have to make this intro fast because my one and a half year old's getting antsy. But if you guys are interested, I'll have all my past decorating for Christmas videos linked down below. It's so fun to see like the transition of just my home decor and like where we lived and sometimes I was pregnant and it's just so fun. But I don't wanna take up too much time in this intro. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on into it. This is the first year that we've ever had a staircase. And so, so I bought three of these Kirkland's um, garland that everybody was talking about this year. They are such good quality. I bought three, they're six feet long. I measured, so I'm hoping it will give me like enough slack where I can do a little bit of a swoop too. And then I'm gonna do some of this ribbon. And then I also just got regular zip ties. I think I'm gonna try using the zip ties at first because I feel like that'll work well. Okay, so I intertwined the two of them and then I zip tied them together. And now I'm just gonna play around with it and see if I can get it to do the swoop that I want it to and make it all the way till the top. It would have been so much easier if I got four and did one, two, whoop, three, four. But I didn't because the thought of spending $40 more on a garland was like, <laughs> I'll make it work with three. Okay guys, I know I'm not really in the frame, but I just wanted to show you what I got. Um, I'm not feeling the cutest today. So I figured I'll just stay out of it and show you guys what you really came to see. So I ran to Hobby Lobby real quick because I felt like the garland on the staircase, it wasn't looking like full enough. I was playing around with it and it just, I felt like it needed a little something. So I got some eucalyptus. That was my main reason for going to Hobby Lobby. And I went back on, and forth on if I wanted to get a eucalyptus garland and kind of like intertwine it, or if I wanted to get these bundles. And I ended up just getting three of these bundles and they were on sale for $10 a piece. So my intention is to kind of pluck them off individually and then put them in different parts of the garland. I just felt like I could customize it a little bit more with the individual picks more so than I could with like adding an additional garland. Now these, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep. They were a dollar each. They look like this. I just thought it would be fun to, once again, like peel them off and have just random little, I don't know, we'll see. I thought this with eucalyptus and the garland that's up there with red bows, that that might be pretty. And then the next stuff I got was for my hot cocoa bar, which will be in a different video. I went back and forth on if I wanted to do a hot cocoa bar this year. I do one every year i will have by the way my 2021 christmas decorating videos linked down below like the playlist i have so many christmas decorating videos for you guys to go watch through if you want inspiration but i wasn't going to do a hot cocoa bar this year and then I was like, you know what? My son's five now. I feel like this is like the first year he would actually love it and appreciate it and know what was going on. And we have like a little desk area in our kitchen where our coffee maker is that I think would be perfect for it. So I have a lot of stuff for the hot cocoa bar from years past, but some things that I needed were some cups, these little um, white chocolate peppermint stir sticks. These are my favorite every year these chocolate ones, stir sticks, some sprinkles for my son, um, 
some marshmallows for my son, and then some little scoops for like the hot cocoa and everything. And then the last thing I got is a candle because we didn't have any Christmas candles. So I got this at Marshall's. It is sand and fog and it's in the winter pine scent. And it smells so good. It smells like a Christmas tree. Okay, now that I showed you everything, well, let's get back into the decorating. Okay, so to kind of show you guys where I'm at right now, we um, somewhat cleared off that little table and I'm gonna decorate that. And then this is what the garland is looking like. So as you can see, there's very subtle swoops. I wasn't able to do too much just because I didn't have a ton of garland. So I'm gonna add in like picks and stuff to make this a little bit fuller. And then every time it swoops up, I'm gonna have like a big red bow. So I think that'll make it look a little more intentional to have like a bow, swoop, a bow, swoop, bow, <laughs> and so on. So, oh, and I'm gonna add lights. The behind the scenes of Christmas decorating. Like you're kind of starting to see what my vision is but trust the process <laughs> this area before I decorate it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is it has like makeup stains and stuff. This, um, ooh. I actually painted this years ago. I don't love the color anymore, so I've been playing around with like painting it a different color or finding something else on Facebook Marketplace that's maybe like a wood tone, but it does the job for now. with the entryway table. Um, this is different. At our last house, we had like a really long entryway table because our entryway was longer and like skinnier. So I actually think this is gonna be easier this year, but I don't know why it's always so hard for me to decorate the entryway table and the coffee table. I, I'm not good at it. I don't know what it is, but I have a vision this year. I have some inspiration pictures. I'll put those on the screen. I think I know, I think I know what I'm doing. I'm confident. So this jug I got from Home Goods. I think it was only $29.99. I say only just because of how much 
jugs like this or like vases usually go for um so i thought it was a good deal i got it for fall decorating but i think it's perfect for year round and i really like the shape of it so i think i'm gonna put it here now i i wish i'm thinking maybe i need to add some height but i'm gonna put these in there so i think that'll do it for me so these are just from hobby lobby i got them last year these are also the ones that i like broke off and put into the garland on the staircase so it'll kind of tie it in together. Okay, I think I like it. I might add a bow, but you guys tell me if it's too much. Let's see. Okay, so this isn't really for decorations, but this is what me and my husband put our keys in every day and it works for us. And I do think it kind of fits. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and I have one more thing. needs a little more height. I love how this looks though. This is seriously like the first time I've ever done an entryway table and been happy with it. I feel like if you watch any of my past year's decorating videos, either I don't do the entryway table or I start it and then I'm like, meh, good enough and I just move on and I never finish it. Okay, so do I do something like this where I put a little wreath? I also have one that's not sparkly and doesn't have red go like that or is that too much I feel like that might be too much because I have greenery here and then we have the whole garland up the stairs let me know what you think let's see you know what I think I like it I think I'm just gonna leave it like this let me know if you guys have any recommendations but I actually think that looks really pretty let me back you up yeah I think that looks nice because we have all this going on plus right when you walk in you can see the Christmas tree so I feel like if I did too much or if I did like a wreath it would look it would look too much. I think this looks perfect. This is our first year in this new house for Christmas and this fireplace and mantle is so much bigger and taller than our last house, so I'm so excited to decorate it. But yeah, let's just get on into it. It's gonna be fun. Okay, let me bring you guys over here. before they're from Target and they are the best the best 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 I have so many of them I will link them down below I just realized I put them in opposite directions these came with like berries in them and honestly I just don't really like the type of red that they are so I took them all out Okay, I don't know 
don't know where the best spot for you guys is. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Okay, I don't know why this Santa mug's up there. Yay! Okay, so I'll put a picture of how I did it last year, but last year I think I did more where it was like barely any and then like a ton hanging off and then I put all the stockings. So this year I kind of wanted to try doing it a little bit more symmetrical and just see what I like better. and it kind of felt overwhelming like it was like <laughs> really flashing so I think I'm gonna wait and see how it looks at night I mean it is night but just until the lights are off and stuff I love these I don't know if I should do it like this or like this I'm also trying to find the second candlestick I have six of these and I can only find one right now okay I'll put my inspiration picture down below but I bought this red ribbon because I want to do a lot of bows, like these long, long bows. Whoop! So let's see if I can make it. The only problem is I do have an almost two year old, so I'm kind of scared he's gonna try to pull it down. if I can hang it up. Oh, I love it. Okay, let me mess around with it just a little bit. I love how long it looks. And like I said, I don't know if this is a mistake with an almost two-year-old if my garland's gonna get ripped down, but a girl's gotta try. That'll live out my Christmas dreams. Okay, what do we think? Let me bring you over here. I really, really like it. I like how long it is. I feel like it's the perfect length. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, the only bummer is if I put the tree here, I feel like it actually might block the fireplace a little bit. So we're not 100% sure about where the tree is gonna go. Also ignore that these are probably not, well I know they're not level. They are hung up right now with push pins, like thumbtacks, because I don't have a laser level and I cannot for the life of me get them straight and like equally distanced. And my game plan was once I finally got them in the position I wanted, I'd put real nails and I just haven't been able to do it. So, so what we got so far, okay. Where are the candlesticks? I'm losing my mind. Does anyone know that movie where she's like, no wire hangers? That's what I feel like right now, but I'm like, where are my candlesticks? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's perfect. I was, I don't know what I was thinking, but I was scared it was like gonna, I, 
Apparently I thought my tree was huge. <laughs> Okay, so this is what we've got going on right now. So we got the tree up. I didn't film it because it took forever. I forgot that this tree was not pre-lit and oh my gosh, putting the lights on was such a long process. And then obviously my five-year-old came in and added some decorations. I'm gonna be decorating the tree in a different video. For now, I'm just gonna have the lights and then the little ones he added. But I wanna go ahead and finish the fireplace. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the stockings over here. And then I was thinking to add like a red bow somewhere, I could take a little bow I made and put it on one of these ornaments and hang it over here somewhere. I'm really happy right now because I like these videos mean a lot to me. And you know with decorating, sometimes things come out like your vision and then sometimes they just don't. I feel like there's been years in the past, actually was it last year? It might have been last year or the year before. I kind of want to say it was the year before. I did a collab with Crystal Tara, but it was like going up the next day and I was filming and nothing was turning out how I wanted to. And I was doing like a dining room Christmas decorate with me and I hated everything. And I remember I was like crying because I really wanted my video to do good and I was excited to be collaborating with Crystal. And I ended up going to Hobby Lobby at like 7 p.m. at night and buying all new decorations and redoing the whole video. <laughs> it was just such a pain. So the fact that this video is like, everything's turning out how I envisioned it is making me really happy. I feel like giddy right now. Okay, cute, right? So I'm gonna attach that. Okay, let me hang it up. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I took the ornament down because it felt a little busy to me, and I do think I like just this red ribbon here instead. Okay, so if you're wondering how I hung these stockings up, I actually just put little command hooks back here. So I will never use those stocking holders that go on the fireplace because when my brother, who is 18 now, I think he was like two maybe, we had those stocking holders up on the fireplace, and obviously the stocking was hanging down, so he pulled it down and it fell on his face and he had to get stitches right under his eye because it really, really hurt him. So I we, I don't do stocking holders. My mom doesn't do stocking holders. We just do command hooks. Okay, here, so we have, I have Mommy, Daddy, William, and then Bennett. I need to go find Bennett's tag. It's in a box somewhere. I don't know where, why it wasn't with the other ones, but funny story, kind of funny story about these. I actually bought them a couple years ago because I was 27 weeks pregnant on Christmas. So my plan was to film a video of me like, like a shot of the fireplace with these name tags on the stockings to announce Bennett's name. He's almost two now, but I was 27 weeks pregnant at the time. So I was going to show like the stocking tag and that's how I would announce his name on YouTube. But if you haven't been following me for a while, I actually went into labor on Christmas at 27 weeks pregnant. So I never posted that video and I ended up having Bennett a couple days later. So he was born super early. He was in the NICU forever. If you're interested, I have tons of videos about that on my channel, but he's totally fine now. He's almost two, no long-term issues, nothing whatsoever that would show that he was born so prematurely. So yeah, but let me go. Speaking of Bennett, let me find his tag.
Okay, so pretend that Bennett's name tag is here. I don't know where it is. I mean, I have a bunch of boxes that I need to go through, so I'm sure I'll find it. But poor Bennett, I cannot find his tag. But I wanted to go ahead and end out the video here. I'll show it when I have it. Um, I do plan on doing like a full Christmas living room decorate with me. I also have a kitchen Christmas decorate with me coming soon, a hot cocoa bar. I might do the master bedroom. So lots to come. I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. It is totally free. All it does is have it so that when I post new videos, they show up in your subscription feed on YouTube and I would appreciate it so much. And if you made it all the way till the end, definitely leave a comment down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. We just moved into this house in April and we, oh no. Oh no. There's a bug. Oh my gosh. I wonder if it came out of.